Hey there, everybody. It's Greg Badney. I'm at the Roar West Art Museum in Etowah, Wisconsin, and I uh, thought I'd give you a little video pick of the day. Uh, today's pick, uh, the painting you see in front of you, uh, which looks really big but is actually kind of small, is uh, a painting. It's an unfinished study, and it's uh, the story of Hiawatha painted. And it's done by um, an artist named John Mix Stanley. He is a New York born artist. He spent most of his formative years though in the Midwest. And I want, really wanna talk about the history of this artist. The painting itself is an unfinished study and uh, there's not a ton to talk about. The faces don't have a lot of detail, but um, the real interesting thing to me is uh, this story of John Mick Stanley. He traveled around the American West in the 1840s and like a lot of very famous uh, American West or American Indian uh, painters, and by that I mean people who painted American Indians, they weren't themselves American Indians. Uh, Stan uh, John McStanley traveled around and uh, he photographed, sketched, and painted uh, Native Americans. And he did it really through a very white lens, a white European American lens. Uh, he took all of his best artwork and then traveled it around uh, the American East Coast to different galleries and called it his Indian Gallery. And eventually he tried to sell it to the Smithsonian. The Smithsonian did exhibit it, but they decided not to uh, buy it from him. They did, however, hold on to his Indian Gallery. And in um, 1865, there was tragically a uh, pretty big fire at the Smithsonian, and most of John Mick Stanley's uh, Indian artwork was destroyed in that fire. Fortunately for him, he did have uh, another section of his art collection that was at the time at P.T. Barnum's museum in uh, New York City. Now, if you've seen The Greatest Showman and you know the story of P.T. Barnum, you know at the end of that movie, spoiler alert, there's a really big fire at P.T. Barnum's museum. That also happened in 1965. And as a consequence, all of John Mick Stanley's Indian artwork was destroyed there. So that means there are very, very few things, uh, few paintings by John Mick Stanley uh, that are survived. And the Rar West Art Museum happens to have one of them. This particular one was donated by um, somebody from Manitowoc, a man by the name of Robert B Menton uh, in 1980, purchased this artwork at Sotheby's in New York and then donated it to us at the Rar West Art Museum. And we feel like we're really fortunate to have it. Hey, we hope you're all doing well out there. We'll continue to provide as much as we can to you during this time where we're all stuck inside. We hope you reach out to us if you have anything on your mind and anything arts related that you want to talk about. Have a great day.